Looking for books to promote growth mindset in your STEM classroom? These five picks are perfect for elementary students of all ages and should be added into your classroom library. The books that I'm going to be sharing are perfect for teaching specific growth mindset skills that you can read at any time of the year. These are all going to be linked down below or in the show notes. So if you don't feel like writing them down now, you can grab those when you're ready. So let's jump in. The first book is Build a Brother Big Plans by Jonathan and Drew Scott, who are the HGTV Property Brothers. This is a great book that not only teaches the engineering design process, but these two brothers are working on a project and they plan, 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 they build, they fail, they plan some more, and well, you're going to have to read the rest to figure out what happens. I love this one. It's a new one. I found it recently at a Scholastic Book Fair, so definitely keep your eye out for this one. The next book is After the Fall by Dan Santat, and it tells the story of Humpty Dumpty and what he did Well after he fell. It's a great one about growth mindset to figure out if you are really going to keep working towards what you want, or are you just going to give up? I love this story. I have a whole STEM and stories lesson about this one. I love teaching this one at the beginning of the year or even leaving it for a sub plan. So great pick. The next book is Emma Wren, Robot Engineer by Jenny Liu. And this is a great one to help students work through the growth when working with others that aren't always their best friend and even work through the biases that they may have towards others and who can and can't do STEM. In this story, the main character, she is partnered with another boy in her class, and the boy has a lot of biases that girls can't do STEM. So this is a great story to really tackle those subjects that might be tricky to talk about in your classroom. Not only that, the students have to work together to create a project, and it doesn't always go right the first time. Again, something that definitely happens in the, our STEM classrooms. So this is a book definitely you need to add to your bookshelf. The fourth book is The World Needs You Who You Are Made to Be by Joanna Gaines. I saw this book peeking out on the shelves when I went to Costco one day, and not only are the illustrations beautiful, but it's a great book to highlight the strengths that you have inside of you, but also develop new ones to contribute to the greater good. This is also a great book to tackle where you are discovering talents that you never knew that you had. And that happens all the time in the STEM classroom. What's also really cool about the illustrations is that the characters are all building a hot air balloon together and all their different hot air balloons. So the illustrations, again, are very beautiful, but highlights a very important message that we need in our classrooms. And the final pick is May Among the Stars by Oda Amid. I love this story because it connects to the real Mae Jemison, who is an astronaut at NASA, and it tells the story of when she's a little girl and she was dreaming big and really wanting to do something big in her life. And there were times when other people didn't believe in her along the way, but she kept pushing towards her dreams. This is a great lifelong skill when it comes to growth mindset. There has that great connection to space, but there are kids who are have those dreams in them and there might be people Along the way who tell them they can or can't do that. So this is a great lifelong skill and definitely recommend this book. As a recap, here are the five growth mindset books for kids that you need in your classroom. First are Builder Brothers Big Plans. Next, After the Fall. Third, Emma Wren Robot Engineer. Fourth, The World Needs Who You Were Made to Be. And fifth, May Among the Stars. What would you add to this book list? If you are watching this video version, make sure to comment below and let me know what you would like to listen to. Or you can send me a DM at Naomi Meredith underscore. I would love to hear your thoughts.